And the second I open up Smart Select, it should know that there is movement. I tap where the video is, hit my three dots. That is where Create GIF should be and maybe could be in the near future. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we'll take a look at the old versus the new of Samsung Smart Select with Samsung One UI 6.0 or 6.1 versus Samsung One UI 6.1.1. Now I will state that this one over here, the brand new version of Samsung Smart Select is a little bit better. It just kind of mashes everything all into one area that really kind of makes everybody happy with all of the tools it's able to do with its simplicity. But when it comes down over into the old version of Samsung Smart Select, sometimes this one is almost easier because it's more basic for other people. Now, the biggest disappointment of the new version versus the old version is the simple fact that you can create a GIF super quick, very fast, very easy. You're still able to do the rectangle image. You can still do your oval image, even though it takes a few additional steps. You can still create GIFs over here, but you're kind of bringing yourself down to Apple where it takes, you know, three, four or five steps to get it done when you can just simply tap right there and it kind of actually highlighted a little area of the video that you can just do here's your high quality your standard quality you can just hit on record you can actually bring your screen you know to a different area and it stays in place or if you want to you can even move this up if there was a different spot that you would like to do you could be in youtube you could be in a game you could be in whatever you want you hit record and then boom now you are creating a gif it's very easy to do though you can still do it it's just way more steps on the new version. So let me show you what you can do first off when it comes down over into the old version of Samsung Smart Select. So first off, we'll just take a look at the screen again. We'll open this up, we hit on rectangle. It highlights a few different images. You can move this around, you can make it big, you can make it small. I can even highlight text if text is something that I wanna do. When you hit on done, then now I'm able to extract the text from it. I can pin it, copy it, and then you have some of your editing buttons. Now let's say that we do it on the new version over here. So this just looks at the full entire page. I could just tap on the text, which makes it way easier than what we just did here. I could tap on that text. I can also tap on this image. So it, it puts everything perfect and it's actually much easier to use. You can even just kind of swipe your fingers across. You can do that. You can also do this. Uh, and then you have all of the different tools that kind of pop up. So you have a few different tools over here. Your little extracting of text is over here. So you do have map because it shows a location. You have copy, you also have share. So you can share this image anywhere you want to. And you can also have the image delete immediately. You can download this image, same thing here. I can download that image. I can pull the text from it and there's even more. I can translate on it. I can add it to note. I can pin it. I can edit it. Uh, another thing is let's say that we, you know, look at this right here. Maybe one of the things that it might actually even pull in is, is uh, the ability to do conversion. So it didn't show it there, but if it was showing maybe something else on the screen, you can also do conversion. So if, if something down over here was talking about a 165 foot whale or something like that, and if it was highlighted, the convert would be there. So there's just way more tools that kind of happen when it comes down to the new version of Samsung Smart Select, again, you can circle everything. You can make this big, you can make it small, whatever you would like. Now on the old version over here, some people might like the fact that you can do a little oval shape. So when you take a look at the oval, it makes it super simple. Boom, perfect oval sitting right there. There's no ability to change this if you want it to be an oval. So pretty much all you're gonna have to do is let's say that we go through with maybe this image right here. Either you can just take a, a screenshot of it, or I can just tap, this is the image that I wanna do. When I hit on download, so you go right inside of your gallery, you go inside of your screenshots. This is the picture that we just got done doing. And you can see here, it's pretty much already done, but here's all the steps I gotta do. I have to hit on the edit button. Then I have to go over here to these four little circles. Then I hit on this little lasso. Then I have to go to shape. And there we go. Now I can finally get my little circle you know, shot that I was trying to do from before. You hit on next, then you can hit on done, and now you have your picture. So over here, it's done immediately. And some people love the fact that you can do this. You hit on done, and that's it. And that is how fast that one was able to do. So that is your rectangle, that is your oval. You also have your animation. Simply put, you're able to do, you know, your little GIFs. So you can go like right inside of YouTube and whatever is happening on this front page. Let's see, let's get out of this. So whatever is happening in, let's just say this little video here. So if I wanted to create a GIF from this, then what I would do is I would open this up, hit on the GIF, hit on record and boom, that's it. 
we're done and that's it i mean we can just wait for however long we want the video to be we hit on done and then this is our gift that we have created we can share it and we can also hit on download now let's say that you wanted to do the whole gift thing over here on samsung one ui 6.1.1 now this is where you know you can still do it but it just takes a little bit of time, just like the whole oval thing. Now let's do the exact same thing over here on Samsung One UI 6.1.1. So if you remember, I can just go right over here, hit animation, I hit record, I put it wherever I want it to be. I wait for the thing, it's done, it's there, it's saved. Now let's contrast that to what we have to do. So what you can do is you have to actually just do a regular screen recording. So you can do that from the very top from your notifications panel, or you can actually do it from a edge panel. So over here, what you have is you have a few different edge panels. You'd actually be able to open this up, hit on settings, and you can make a few changes of the panels you would like to have. So here's a task one. I can open it up, hit screen record, screen record. Boom, now that we are recording, let's just say that I just wanted to go over here. I wanted a quick little thing of this little guy walking in, putting his phone up, and probably just bringing it right on down. So now I'm gonna hit on done. Now what I have to do is I now have to head over inside of my gallery and inside of gallery, I go inside of the screen recordings. I go to my little screen recording I did, but here's the thing. I wanted to have that little crop of the top. I didn't want the full screen to be a GIF. So I hit on this edit button. Then I go to this crop. Now I'm going to bring it up right over here. It's kind of like a one by one. Let's bring this down just a little bit. And let's say that I bring this over. I'm going to put it like right around there. So it doesn't really matter. This is where I wanted to have my little crop from before. So now I hit on save. So now that you have finally saved that cropped section, that little animation of what you wanted to do, now that it's saved, the nice thing is if you want to create a, a GIF from any video in your gallery, it's actually very simple. If you already have the video in your phone, all you'd have to do is go to your video, tap the bottom three dots, create GIF. So that's very simple. So like, let's say like I wanted to create a GIF from this little video right there, create GIF, boom. Then I'm able to move it around, choose whatever I want, make a few edits with it. So it's there, it's actually very quick, but you have to do all of this if you want a fresh one. So here's your create GIF. I just wanna make a little GIF of this dude coming in and putting the phone down. I can also make it go a little bit quicker if I want it to be a little bit more smooth, which looks you know good to me. I can also reverse it or I can make it go back and forth. So if this is the one that I want, now I hit on save. So now that I have saved the GIF that I was actually trying to go from, from before, I go inside of my GIFs, here it is, it's downloaded and it's played and it's very smooth. And I also made it go back and forth. So yeah, there is a few additional tweaks you can do when it comes down to creating a GIF. But here's the thing, I'm over here. I don't wanna do the whole screen recording. I just wanna capture whatever is happening right up over here. I open this up, select it. And that's it. That is how easy it was. But I just wanted to show you the contrast between the two. So this is smart select over here, where you really only have four different options of putting something on the screen or pinning something or, you know, insert something. You have your, your oval, the rectangle, all that beautiful stuff. But here's the thing. When it does come down over into these, the, the newer smart select, there is way more that you are able to do. It's all jam packed in this one spot. It looks at the full entire screen. So I can tap here and I can pull all of this stuff out. I can copy it. I can add it into my notes. I can share it. I can bring the text out. I have these options. I also have pin. So here's this one as well. I can do like sketch to image. I can copy this, share it, download this. I also have pin, edit, add to note. So there's a lot of things that you can do. If it's showing numbers, it'll give you more features as well. Don't forget, you know, don't forget to hit on those little three little dots to kind of bring down those other features that you're able to do. But that is pretty much the big contrast of the two. When it comes down to creating GIFs from anything other than your gallery, you're going back to the old days of doing several different steps when you can just do something very simple. And then also again, with that oval, that one does take a lot of work as well too. So if you take a look at this little picture here, again, little edit button, the four little square circle thingies, you go to your lasso, you go to shape, and then now you have it. And you also have you know a few additional shapes as well too. Now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that there is a place where Samsung would actually you know, put in where you can create a GIF so easy is let's say that you're watching this up on the very top. I open this up. The screen has movement that is going on. When I tap on smart select, it pauses. It's actually very similar if you were to press and hold the bottom for your Google search to or circle to search, it pauses everything. 
So all that would have all I'd have to do here is if I am watching this video, I tap on this video, it should recognize that it was moving. And then when I hit on those three little dots right up over here, when I tap on those three dots, there should be an option right here that's called create GIF. That's all Samsung has to do. If I'm inside of an application where there is movement and the second I open up smart select, it should know that there is movement. I tap where the video is, hit my three dots. That is where create GIF should be and maybe could be in the near future. So make sure you guys make this video popular. Give this thing a big thumbs up, like it, share it, do whatever you need to do. Hopefully Samsung will be able to watch this video. It's very easy to do if they're able to do it on all these past devices and they still have smart select. You just have to add in that small little baby feature. But that is the big contrast and difference between Samsung smart switch from before to the brand new Samsung smart switch of Samsung One UI 6.1.1. You can see it's more powerful. It's easier to use on a bunch of different occasions, but we just want to have the ability to create our gifts back. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.